Hey everyone. So today I have prepared a little slideshow for you and we're going to be talking about Z rank. I've received quite a few questions about how to improve your Z rank and what does it mean and what is it? And so in this video, we're going to be going over all of that. And by the end of this video, you're going to understand what your Z rank is and why it's important. So let's dive into it. First, what is Z rank? Z rank is a metric for your shop and it's a score between one and 10. So the higher the score, the better your shop is optimized and you need a score of a minimum of four to get priority in the marketplace search results. To see your Z rank, you're going to go into the back end of your shop, hit the home button on the top bar there, and it will be on the right hand side at the top there. And it's just little text Z rank, and then it tells you right there. So the components crucial to your Z rank score. So what goes into your Z rank? Your store optimization, your sales and promotion, and quality over quantity. So we're going to dive a little bit more into that throughout this video. First is your store's optimization. So enhance your store's appeal. We want to customize our shop layout so that it's the best that it can be for our customers. And if you're unsure of how to arrange your shop layout to customize it to your liking or to make it good for your customers, I have a video for you. It's how to change the layout of your shop front. I'll link it in the top corner, but I will also link it in the video description for you. And the next thing that we want to do is complete our creator profile and our shop profile so that we're more trustworthy and our shop is filled out even if it's just a company, that's fine, but give them an idea of who's running the shop and what it's all about. This is one of those things that isn't necessarily going to directly affect the Z rank, but it can make a difference for your customers in making purchases. So that's how it's going to indirectly affect the Z rank for your shop boosting sales and promotion. So how do we boost our sales? Well, the first thing we need to do is have good SEO. So we want to use unique and relevant titles, descriptions, and tags. And if you're unsure of what I mean by all of that, I have a video for you. It's called Metadata Explained. And again, I will link it in the top corner, but I will also link it in the video description below. And the next thing we want to do to boost our sales and promote our shop is do our own marketing. Pick a social media platform. It only needs to be one. You don't need to hit all of them. You've got Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, maybe any social media platform that you prefer, the one that you enjoy most and stick to that one consistently. Over time, you will start to generate your own traffic to your shop through your social media channel. And that's going to hopefully drive sales and that's going to positively affect your Z rank. One more thing to posting to social media is using the hashtag ZazzleMade. That way Zazzle can see it and they can promote your social media posts as well. The next point, and this one is very important, is quality over quantity. So we want to be putting genuine thought into our products. We want to consider who our target audience is and what our niche is and design specifically for those people and for that niche. And we don't want to be pumping out tons and tons of designs that aren't well thought out. So really put that thought and time and effort into your product listings and publish unique designs. So don't copy other people's designs that are selling. It's already been done. You need to create something that's unique and that's going to help your shop and your Z rank in the long run. Now let's talk about shop maintenance. And this is going to be kind of the one thing that's really directly going to impact your Z rank. The other things all kind of impact this, and then this is going to impact your Z rank. We want to talk about the sales to product ratio and also the sales to views ratio. So how many sales are you getting in your shop and how many products do you have listed and how many sales are you getting per how many views? we want to be getting lots of sales and not have too many products in our shop. 
that's going to boost our Z rank. And this is obviously a little bit of a balancing act because we need to continue to produce new products, which might lower our Z rank temporarily while those products find their place in the marketplace and work their way through the algorithm. And that's fine. So if you see your Z rank drop after publishing a bunch of products, don't freak out. That's normal. The other thing that we want to do is review and update our shop listings. So we want to be going and looking to see if our old products aren't getting views. If they're not getting views, we either want to fix the SEO on them, market them a little bit more, or if we no longer like those designs because we've grown as an artist and our skill has gotten way better and we realize that those are ugly, And that has happened to me multiple times, lots of times. So no shame in that. Um, We may want to consider just removing those products altogether because they're really just hurting our shop's set rank. And if you don't want to completely delete them, you can always just hide the products instead. You don't have to delete them if you're nervous to do that. You can test it out by hiding them instead. Community insights. I've gone through a bunch of threads through the Zazzle community and looked at what people are talking about when it comes to Zrank. And the truth is no one really knows. It is a little bit of a mystery, but here are some things that we have kind of figured out. So Zrank is a dynamic metric. That means it's changing all the time. If you all of a sudden upload a bunch of products, your Zrank may drop. If you delete a bunch of products, it can be affected The time of the year can affect the Z rank, especially if you have a seasonal shop. Another thing that is talked about a lot in the community, and I have discussed it already in a previous slide, is the sales to views ratio or the sales to product ratio. So how many sales are you getting for how many views? That's going to affect your Z rank. And then one more important point to make is that we want to be driving positive engagement in our shops. We don't want to be trying to game the system. We want to do this holistically and be building our shops in a sustainable way. So what are some ways that we can improve the sales to views ratio? There's a few different things that we can do. One of the big ones is targeted promotion. So what do I mean by that? First, we need to define our target audience and our niche. If you have a shop that just sells everything and anything, it's going to be really hard to target who you're trying to sell to. So you do want to create a niche down shop and figure out who your target audience is and promote to them. And by doing that consistently, you should be able to drive traffic and sales to your shop. The other thing that we can do to improve that sales to views ratio is to hide, delete, or update unpopular products. So products that aren't getting viewed. And one last thing is metadata. Again, we've talked about this already. Our SEO, our titles, our tags, our descriptions, we want to put an emphasis on that because that's going to generate traffic from within the Zazzle marketplace, but also from search engines like Google, where there's a lot more people searching. (laughs) So let's talk a little bit about how social media can have a positive effect on our Z rank. Posting consistently to social media is going to help you build an audience. It's going to help you find your audience and engaging with your audience is going to, again, help your discoverability and help your growth on that platform. And then you can drive traffic to boost your sales. Personally, I like to use Pinterest for my marketing. I'm actively marketing three of my shops on Pinterest and I'm very excited about it. I'm getting really excited about the results. That's the platform that I recommend. I have a couple videos on this channel already on marketing your products on Pinterest. So I have this video here. I'll link it above and I will also link it in the description. It's how to market your products on Pinterest. So I recommend that you go watch that if you are unfamiliar with Pinterest. Otherwise, you can use whatever platform that you're most comfortable with. Here's the thing though, Z rank is a fun little metric to look at, but we really don't want to be getting too caught up in what our Z rank score is. As long as it's a four or above, you're going to be fine. You're going to show up in the marketplace. You're going to make sales. There is no evidence one way or another that a higher Z rank score makes you show up higher in the search results. So sales should be your primary focus. And really the elements that go into raising your Z rank 
are also going to go into making more sales on the Zazzle platform. So by reviewing these slides that I've created, you can effectively help your sales on Zazzle. It's not just about ZRank. This is really just a whole little Zazzle tutorial in itself. So actionable strategies. Focus on improving the sales to views ratio by targeted marketing and targeted SEO. And again, I have a couple videos. They're linked in the description below. Another piece of SEO that I just touched on a little bit in a previous slide is our product descriptions. Our product descriptions are the main way that our products are going to get found in search engines like Google or DuckDuckGo or Bing or whichever search engine you prefer. And the great thing about the product descriptions on Zazzle is we're not very limited by character use, so we can add lots of keywords in there. And we really want to optimize our products for getting found in search engines because that's where all the traffic is. All the traffic is in search engines like Google. It's not really in Zazzle. Google has way more discoverability. So if you can get your products found in search engines, you're going to be way better off. So I have a tool for you. It's a product description prompt generator. It uses AI like ChatGPT or Bard to create product descriptions for you. And the link is in the description. So I encourage you to go check that out. And then the last thing for actionable strategies is refreshing stale product listings. So again, if your product listings aren't getting views or maybe they're getting views, but they aren't getting sales, you want to be deciding if you need to be changing the SEO on those products, or if you should just be hiding or deleting them from the marketplace altogether. What are the key takeaways? ZRank is a metric for your shop optimization. It does not indicate how much money you're making on Zazzle. We want to focus on quality over quantity. Think about that sales to views ratio or the sales to the number of products you have in your shop ratio. We want to be driving our own traffic through social media and optimized product listings. And then we also want to be using good SEO in our titles, descriptions, and tags. And last but not least, don't overthink it. Your Z rank doesn't really matter that much. As long as you've hit that four, you're good to go. That's the end of this explainer video on Z rank. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you learned something, I would appreciate it if you give the video a like and subscribe for more Sazzle tips. Bye.